Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some Rokai beads I purchased from Hobby Lobby. So I'll start with the black tube that I purchased. And this is the check glass beads is what it says. It says bead treasures. It tells you the price and what area it is in in the store. It's the jewelry category. I think $2.99 is very reasonable, especially since you can get packaged beads 50% off at Hobby Lobby at different times. But this says they're black opaque and this is an 18 gram tube. So these are 11 O's. It says Rukai beads right there. And I do find these really nice. I haven't used a ton of them, as you can see, because it is quite full still. They literally fill the beads right up to the top of the tube. And what's nice is you can continually reuse this tube for your bead storage. I also have white. This is the white opaque 18 gram tube again. So these are very shiny, which is nice. All of these have such a very shiny, high gloss finish. Then I have yellow. So all of these are check glass, which is really nice. I also have opaque light orange. I absolutely love this color. And then I have opaque orange. I have opaque green. I purchased all of these tubes at once because I wanted to do different seed bee cuties. And then I have this green which I find so pretty. I absolutely love this green and I want to come up with something to use it for. So this is the opaque light olivine. So pretty. Now, those are, I'll bring those all back in. So these are my opaque beads. And now I'll show you the pearl finish beads I got from them. So this is the opaque yellow luster. So these have that very pearly shimmer to them. Then I got opaque light blue luster. I have pink Ceylon. This is again that same pearl finish. It does look like on some of these beads you can tell that the inside is painted a pink, but then the bead itself is a pearl finish also. Then you can tell which one is my favorite too because it's getting lower than the other ones and this is the opaque orange and I just think that these are so pretty. I really love them. They have that really pretty pearl finish. And I'll pour out a little bit of these into my hand just so you can tell what the actual bead looks like. So you can see that they're very tiny, but then they're quite thin also. They're very thin and that's what makes them kind of difficult to do seed bead cuties with. So you can make CB cuties or I also think you can make really pretty jewelry with these beads. I've made myself a matching jewelry set with these and then I also made a bracelet idea that I'll show you. So I'll bring over all of the pearl finished ones that I have. And then all of them. So with all of these that I purchased, kind of the main colors and then the pearl finish, a few of the pearl finish ones, I can pretty much make a lot of the CB cuties I wanted to make. Um, and now I'll show you what project ideas you can make using these beads.
this is the grid that we just finished gridding out. Um, you can see it has a really cute little face on it. I would probably start on this row and then work my way up and leave myself a long enough tail that I could add on these three beads later. I do use a post-it note when I'm actually brick stitching this just so I can keep track of what row I'm on all the way up. That really helps so you don't lose your place. And then the beads that you'll need are the pink Ceylon, the opaque light orange, the black opaque, and the white opaque. So you only need four tubes for this and then you can just start beading. I did use white beading thread when I made this, so I'll show you him. You can see that there's white thread on the sides, but this is him for reference and the color and everything. On the top, I did make a see-through loop with 15 o beads that I found from Hobby Lobby, so you can dangle him as a keychain or anything like that. So that's the grid for the first sushi. for this grid that we just gridded out, you actually need six tubes of beads. You're going to need the opaque or light orange, the opaque orange, opaque yellow, opaque light olive, then you also will need the white opaque, and then you'll need the black opaque. So for this grid, I would probably start on this row and work my, working my way up and then leave a long enough tail that you can add on these five beads down here. This is um, also another sushi, and I'll bring him the little thing over so you can kind of see what it looks like for color reference. And so you can see that I used the opaque light orange for this majority right here of orangey color right there, and then for that little flowerish shape, that's where I used my opaque orange. So. I also added a see-through loop on this one with the 15 see-through beads from Hobby Lobby. So I can also dangle this one as a charm off of anything that I would want to. So there is the second sushi idea. Okay, so this is the grid I just gridded out for you. Um, for this final grid that we're going to be doing, you only need three colors, your pink Ceylon, your black opaque, and your white opaque. So if you only wanted to buy three tubes of beads, this would definitely be the one for you. I would, when I'm doing this one, I would start on the middle row, work my way all the way up, leaving myself enough thread to come back and work my way all the way down again. So um, I just think that that would make it a little bit easier. I added numbers along the edges. You can see like three for three white beads, five for five white beads in that row, seven for seven white beads, and so forth. And then for these, if color interferes with it, it will be five beads up until that point, and then you have the two pink and then two white. So that just makes it a little bit easier when it's white beads um, on a white graph paper to kind of just help you understand it as you're going. So I'll bring him over now. This is what he's going to look like. He's very cute. Um, I actually have some thread that's still um, not tucked in on this one because I was trying to tuck it in and my needle actually broke. And that's just the issue with working with Rukai beads, I guess, is just that they have very small holes so it can be quite difficult to um, weave in your threads and just have enough room basically in the bead to finish your project. So that's just something you'll have to um, work around. But if you didn't want to use Rakai beads because they can be difficult in that way, you can definitely use any type of bead that you have. You can use seed beads, toho beads, round toho beads, mayuki beads, anything you would want to for these same grids. So our beads also uh, 
gives you the option of printing off free paper here that you can actually do for yourself. So this is the brick stitch with round beads and then this is the brick stitch with cylindrical beads. Because our beads aren't perfectly cylindrical, I, I opted for the round bead grid, but they also have other options on their website for different free graph papers, so you could definitely check that out and see which one you want to print off. So this is going to be our last grid, and there is the sushi. So this is all of them gridded together, so if you wanted to make any of these or all of these, you could pause the screen now and try to make them. I found all of these ideas off of social media, and I hope that you find them just as cute as I found them. I thought I would pull over for comparison a brick stitch cutie that I've done in the past. So you can see with our beads, round Toho beads, it's very consistent, very straight rows, and really easy to accomplish this and do it very quickly. With these, you can just kind of see how it gets a little bit more wavy and not as nice looking. So that's just a little bit of comparison for you. So I was using this wonderful Coralie color, and then I got these beads from the Beads and Buttons show when I went um, this year, and they're really pretty and fun. These are like little cubes, so I thought that would be such a fun touch for this bracelet because I thought these two colors were so pretty together. And I always wanted to come up with some sort of idea that would be really fun to use these beads for. So I thought this would be a fun thing to do. So using those beads, I made this bracelet. So this bracelet is kind of a double helix look. And you can see that I added a closure. And then you have the cube beads, and then the rakai beads, and then the little rakai beads sticking off. So this is just such a pretty look, and I just decided I would make this bracelet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to get some free printable graph paper for yourself, I will be having a link to that in my description box below. I also will be having a link to how to brick stitch video down below, and then a few of my previous videos that I've uploaded. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.